Hi. So how many of you are enjoying rains? You know, I am doing phenomenal, such heavy rains. I think since uh, almost all night, it's been raining heavily. Even now, it's pouring like anything. And you may be able to hear the sounds of uh, rain. But uh, a lovely weather and you know, we were just planning if we could step out, go for a drive. It's difficult now because it's kind of flooding. But uh, as the rain slows down, we plan to step out, go for a drive with our uh, bottle of tea, masala tea, ginger tea, and just enjoy the weather. So I'm just so excited at the thought of going out, stepping out, and it's going to be so much fun. Right? And as I was thinking this, as we were planning this amongst ourselves in the family, uh, a thought that came to my mind was, uh, about being grateful, thanking these, these natural wonders that are there around us. So whether we talk about the rains that we so love, that we so much enjoy, and if they are not there, we even crib about them, but seldom do we really uh, notice uh, that you know they are there and how, what they are giving us and be grateful for them. Similarly, all the other things, whether it's about the air that we are breathing in, which is available to us, the fresh air in the morning, when you step out, the roads that are there, the trees that are there, uh, the fresh oxygen that you get, the, the parks that are there around, and the fresh water flowing in the rivers, and uh, you know, all these animals that are there around, uh, cows, the dogs, that are there and you have these little creatures crawling here and there uh, so all of that you know the whole atmosphere the protective ozone layer so many things you know just so many things which are available to us and we use them on a daily basis every moment but rarely do we really stop pause and notice them that okay they are available and the purpose that they are serving how they are making our lives richer and richer and while we thank and be grateful for all the uh, materialistic things that are there things which are making our life easier uh, people who are there in our life we still do that but all these things which are available when i look at the bigger picture all these things that are available go unnoticed go unnoticed when it comes to being grateful expressing our gratefulness and why it becomes even more relevant is because of the COVID-19. I think when we say this is precisely uh, Mother Earth's way of teaching us how to behave ourselves and the fact that we are not grateful, the fact that we miss out on saying thank you or being grateful for all of these things uh, actually goes out to show how we abuse all of these things. And if we start to be grateful, if we consciously pause and be grateful for all these things, trust me, we will stop abusing them. We will not be abusing them. The only reason we abuse and just behave the way we want to behave uh, is because the gratefulness is not there somewhere. The gratitude is missing. So I just want to talk about and just want to uh, bring to your notice that we are missing out on something. And that's where Mother Earth is somewhere crying. Mother Earth is somewhere putting across a point, uh, trying to tell us, give this message loud and clear, very, very strongly, that we need to uh, understand the importance of all that she is providing every bit of it you know you step out right from the morning until the night there are millions of things that you could be grateful for to mother earth to the nature so can we just pause slow down we have already paused we've come to a halt we are in a lockdown we've slowed down and there is a reason to it so let's make it worthwhile yeah, and just use that pause, use that halt, that 
slowing down that uh, you know slowing of the momentum to understand what has been missing all this while and how can we bring that how can we bring that forth and provide to mother earth and trust me when we talk about happiness the moment this gratitude comes in you know you will feel happiness and there's going to be lots and lots of happiness around because there'll be all those vibrations of gratitude going up imagine if each one of us us does that each one of us does that says a thank you to mother earth thank you for all that we have available available thank you for the fresh air thank you for the rain thank you for the fresh water available to us thank you for uh, the trees lovely flowers blooming blossoming around for the parks for every bit for all the animals that are there around for everything if we start to send out those vibrations and each one of us doing that i think uh it's going to be a very very big tribute a very very big message uh, a plea a request to mother earth to pardon us to forgive us for the mess that we've created for uh forgetting missing out on gratitude and maybe she just uh mellows down and you know we were able to pacify the whole thing and get rid of the whole covid how about just requesting mother earth to to just uh forgive us for what we've done and uh loosen or lessen or just let it go spare us from this covid night right so please go ahead think about it and please please do it uh just maybe think of start by thinking of five things five such things which you can be grateful for i'm saying the uh things which are being offered to us naturally by mother okay because we're already being grateful we've started to be grateful for things that are there that we buy the abundance that we have of money of people in our lives of love pouring in all of that but there is so much that mother earth is taking from us so much that she is bearing and she's been doing that for years together now it's our turn to reciprocate and reciprocate with the choice lies on us so can we reciprocate with lots of love lots of gratitude that's the question that i want to leave you with okay think about it go ahead do it thank you